What's going on? It's Kevo Bato, and I'm back with another Botticera video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks to help you with your Botticera machine and experience. But you know me. Let's not waste any more time, and let's get right into the tips and tricks video. All right, so first up, these tips and tricks are going to be in three different categories. The first category is going to be game and game related. The second category is going to be theme and customization related. And the third category is going to be add-ons, applications, and unofficial things. And let me know in the comments below any tips and tricks that you might have that can help people out in Botticera. First off, let's say we go into this system. It doesn't matter what system, the random system here. And you see, I've got this game here. Now we can open the advanced game options menu by holding X or A instead of pressing X or A. It's really that simple and you get this menu here. If you've never seen this before, then there you go. <laughs> instead of clicking X or A on your controller, you hold down X or A and it brings this menu and you can go into the advanced game options and you've got all these options to play around with. Now, depending on the console, the options are gonna be different depending on the game that that console is for. So like, and for instance, as you see the top menu option for this is power mode, but let's go to Game Boy Advance and you can see, boom, the top option for this one is emulator. And that's gonna be a really important setting for a lot of people. If you ever have any issues getting a game to run, hold X or A on your controller, go to advanced game options, and then you can change options around in here. Most importantly, this emulator option. That's what gets a lot of games working. It's just a quick switch of that emulator. While we're talking about game settings, if we go into the Botticera main settings, usually by clicking option or select or option or start on your controller, we can go down to game settings. And in here we've got game settings, but if you go to the very bottom to per system advanced configuration, you can change the settings that I just showed you that were per game and you can do it for the entire collection. So here, as you can see, I'm in a similar settings that I was at a second ago, but instead of it being for one game, it's for the entire collection. So if you needed to change the emulator for the entire collection or the, you know, the video mode, turn on or off decorations. Yeah, you, you get the idea. All right, another important tip or trick that's not necessarily just game related, but let's say we are in a game, what, whatever the case may be, if you're in a situation where you're in a game or you know some other application and your machine freezes, your best bet, it's, it's kind of funny because it looks like it's frozen right now. Okay, no, it ended up working. Let's just pretend that it's frozen. In this scenario, you're gonna need a keyboard. You're, it's, it's no other way around it. But as long as you've got a keyboard connected to your machine and your machine is frozen and you're just screwed, you can hit Alt F4 and that should force close out of whatever you're in. Now, if Alt F4 doesn't force close, you need to spam Alt F4. Also, depending on your keyboard, you might have an FN key that you need to also press. So FN, Alt, and F4. If you get stuck in a game or application, spam all F4 and you will get out of there instead of, you know, having to shut down your entire machine. Now let's go ahead and move on to the customization and theme related tips and tricks. If we go in here into this Game Boy collection, you can click the select button or on my PS4 controller, it's the share button and you can change settings per collection. So see, we have game list view here. So say I want to change that to grid, right? Boom. It's a completely different game view, but watch if I go into this collection, you see it's still the carousel like view. So boom, and then we'll go back. So you can see these are different collections and they are themed differently. To do this, all you gotta do is press select and then you can go to the games list view style and you can change it per collection. And then you can, you, there's so many things you can change. And there's another easy way to get to advanced system options for that collection. Uh, anyways, this is where you can go in if you wanna change the game list view for a specific console. All right, let's say you have a collection that is mostly scraped, but you add a game in, right? So instead of going in the normal method of going to the settings and going down to scraper and then scraping 
the entire collection over again, you don't want to do that. Instead, we can go in and as you can see, I've got, let's just choose this roller coaster typhoon here. I'm going to hold X or A on my controller and get this fancy menu I showed you about earlier in the video. And then you're going to go to scrape. It's really that easy. And the cool thing is it keeps you from having to scrape your entire collection over again, which back in the day before I learned about this, that's what I used to do. So, and that's a really shitty scrape. <laughs> but the point still stands. You can scrape individual games instead of going in and scraping your entire collection. All right, for this next tip. All right, so if you click F1 to go into your file manager, you can go into Splash here and you can, and I'll even open the README because it tells you what to do. It literally tells you. Place your splash screen files here. They will be copied to the boot splash automatically. Attention, every data will be copied. There's no difference between picture, video, music, blah, 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 blah. If you delete some data, it will be removed. Great. So anyways, the point is all that saying is that you can add your own picture or video. You should add a splash. You can put in your own video and it will be your custom boot splash screen. So instead of it showing the bodice era, video whenever you first load it can show your own custom video whatever you'd like it to be i will leave a video on the screen now of a custom boot screen and in the description there will be a link to a whole slew of different really awesome boot animations so again you go into user data and you go into splash and that's how you can change the custom boot animation all right now we're going to get into some of the apps and unofficial add-ons section of this video and uh this is these are really important tricks i won't call them tips necessarily these are really important tricks here it, first things first is you, everybody needs the bua and obviously they don't some people don't need it but you need it and you know if you need it you know if i'm talking to you right now this is the bua this lets you add all types of add-ons to your machine including the most important one in my opinion the desktop mode, the native Botticera desktop mode. And in order to get that, I will leave a card in the top right showing you how you can add the Botticera desktop mode. But it's super easy and super simple. And here we're in the BU way where we can go in and install just a slew of stuff, just tons and tons of stuff. But out of the BU way, that's just one of the things that we need to install. The second thing that we need to install. And again, for each one of these add-ons, I will leave a card in the top right showing you the full video of how to add it because this isn't going to be a, you know, this video will be forever if I showed you how to add every single one of these. But in the top right, I'll leave a video for the RGSX games downloader. This is a games downloader application. It's amazing. The <laughs> people are going crazy over it. And uh, some people are worried that it's going to get taken down, that, did, that we're all going to jail. You know? <laughs> but this is the RGSX games downloader. And as you can see, it is ex exactly what it says that it is. So we're not going to go into this too much because I've already got a full video on it, which I'll leave a card in the top right again for you to check out. Another useful tip for add-ons that are less unofficial, you can click F1. You can go up to applications and you can open up this icon here, this flat pack config with the uh, Swiss army knife. You can open that and you wait for it to load. It takes a little over forever. And this basically is a, it's basically an app store for Botticera and it's a supported one, meaning that anything that you add in here is not going to get you in trouble with the Botticera community. <laughs> Like the BUA, you know, God forbid you install anything from the BUA, you're blacklisted. <laughs> you're blacklisted. No, but seriously, this is the supported way of getting your applications. So if you're worried about not getting support from the Botticera dev, install all your applications through here, the Flatpak config application. And I'm trying to wait for it to load. Finally, it loaded. Thank goodness. So as you can see, there's even a few options that it has suggested to me, like Firefox, Steam, etc. So you can go in here and you can search for your add-on, let's say, and you know, if you say you want to download Google Chrome, Google, and you would just go in here and click install on that. So that's just another quick option on how to install things. Again, it's, you go over to F1, then you go the applications and you open up this flat pack config and that's how you can get more supported applications and all of them won't run out of there. It's just, they won't, 
quote unquote, break your machine. You can still get support from the Botticera devs if you use applications out of this, but not if you use applications out of this. <laughs> And uh, the last add-on, again, I talked about it or hinted at it earlier, is the Botticera desktop. Uh, this desktop mode is amazing. It, it allows you to do everything normally how you would on a regular computer if you need to. I can have multiple tabs open. As you can see, we'll bust open a couple. So yeah, you see, I got, I got tabs open for days. All right, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some of this information useful. And if you didn't, don't worry, I'll have another Botticera tips and tricks video coming out next week that's more for advanced users. This was just more of a tip of the iceberg, some helpful things if you're newer to Botticera, or even some things that maybe I could remind you of that you forgot about. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comment sections below. If you like what you saw, give me a like. If you really like what you saw, subscribe. Come on. All right. All right. I'll catch you in the next video.